Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. I know it's been a minute since I vlogged, probably like a month and a half, but today we're actually going to be replacing the slave cylinder on my Audi. It currently went out like two weeks ago when I got back from the trip. Um, we're here with the boy Tito. We're just setting up everything right now. What's good, my dude? What up, dudes? What's going on? Just, you know, prepping everything, getting everything ready. Get started on this. Yeah, so... This right here is the old slave cylinder that was ripped and it was actually set up wrong in there and Tito has a new one right there so that's the new and that's the old one so we're going to be putting that in somewhere back here behind all this wiring you could kind of see it but once we go down there I'll give you guys another view so let's get that going so once you're under here just look up to the left right here and then Tito and I actually took it off the other the other day. So pretty much where it goes, it mounts is right there on that bracket. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount it back and then just line the slave cylinder onto this bracket. So then it holds on right and then we're gonna bolt it on. And it should be all right. Hopefully have a clutch back in action so we'll keep you guys updated right now once we install this part so once you got the slave in there you can see the bracket aligns up with that so we're just gonna tighten that up and then make sure it hooks up to right there if everything is in we're just gonna get that bolt in and we should be good to go so Tito and I having a little bit of trouble just putting it back in all right it's in I think it is, so we just gotta tighten it. All right. It took us like 10 hours. Whoa. But now it's in there. So there it is, folks. That's the slave cylinder installed. And now we're just gonna bleed it and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so Tito and I just got that slave cylinder in. We're about to start bleeding it. Got Chris that just showed up. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Um, Chris is actually gonna be changing his this front light bulbs. Whoops. Chris just finished installing his light bulbs. Yeah. Looks pretty sweet. <laughs> Not bad. You guys are wondering which ones he got. We got him. We got him on ECS tuning. Oh shit. We called the. Uh, all good here. <laughs> Alright guys, Tito and I are about to bleed it, I'm going to be inside pumping the clutch, Tito's going to go down there and just tightening and loosening, loosening the bolt so he could get the brake fluid out. Alright guys, so Tito and I just tried to bleed the car, nothing came out while I was pumping the clutch. So we're gonna see and try to figure out what else could be going on. So we'll keep you guys updated. Just finished bleeding the car. The clutch is back alive, so it feels good. So now it's the moment of truth. We're about to drop down the car and start it up and I hope we're good, so. But All right, let's get it. Ready for that cold start? Not bad. Alright folks, so the car, everything's everything on the car is good. It was just that one situation with the slave cylinder. 
So hopefully right now we're about to find out and we should be good to go. But besides that, the car is in good shape right now. Back then, um, I wasn't really boosting at its full potential, so I went back to the works and they told me that my turbo was going out. I was like, I don't know if that could be true. So the issues I had with the Audi before, I fixed it on, everything's good right now. Um, I did get a stage two tune at Eventworks. Uh, when we were test driving it after the tune, my diverter valve did go out because they were saying I had some type of boost leak there because I wasn't boosting at it. It wasn't boosting at what it's supposed to be. So what I did was I swapped that out and I still had the same, uh, the same results. It felt a little bit better, but it still wasn't pushing what a stage two should be. So what I did was I took it back to them. We, we diagnosed it and we tightened up everything to see if there was any boost leak. Everything was good. And what I did next was I did a PCV delete and everything ran a lot smoother and better. My car felt greater than it did before. So I did install the oil catch can with that. And after that, everything was good. The car was boosting good. I'm pushing, I'm not sure what numbers I'm pushing, but I'm hitting about 21 PSI right now at the peak. And that's what happened before the whole mess. I think that was the whole mess I was lost in. So during that whole time, I wasn't vlogging. I did do a lot of maintenance, which I should have vlogged, but I just wanted to get it done and over with. Um, I've done engine mounts, oil catch can with the PCV delete. What else have I done? The M205 valve, this thing right here. What else did we do, Tia? Coolant flanges, all the coolant flanges, huh? Coolant flanges, thermostat. This was uh, valve cover gasket. Oh, I'm pretty sure you have already up to date with the yes. spark plugs. Spark plugs, Colfax. Uh, the cool. next thing I plan on doing is a uh, time cam follower, timing chain, one of the gaskets back there. And I think they'll be up to date, huh? Like top notch. This thing is, I love this car. But, but, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping it. Who wants to get rid of it? This is a chump. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm thinking of, I might be selling my car. I'm not too sure yet. So, if you guys are watching this and like the car, I want to buy it, just hit me up and we can see what's good. But. And if you guys can guess what kind of car he's going for next, you can have it for free. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you guys can comment down below and see what car yeah? you're getting next. However, Maybe, but, uh, comment down and you might just get this thing for free. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys, so we're going to test drive this thing right now. We just got back from driving the car. We did put it back up just because we did notice there wasn't an O-ring in there. So we went back to O'Reilly's, picked it up. But besides that, the clutch feels good. It's grabbing. So I think we should be on the good side right now. So let's hope this O-ring fixes the issue and the car should be good, guys. We just installed that O-ring. Everything's good. It's not leaking no more. And I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. So shout out to Tito for the help, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.